Hey there lovely souls and welcome back to Self Care with Sarah Redden, a podcast series dedicated to helping you create true self-care practices. I'm your host and self-care BFF, self-care queen Sarah Redden. Today we're diving into the importance of creating space for self-care. Now in our fast-paced busy lives it's easy to neglect our own self-care. We may prioritise work, family, friends, often forgetting that taking care of ourselves is just as, if not more, important. Making time for self-care is essential for our overall well-being, and this episode is here to remind you of that. Creating space for self-care is like giving yourself permission to shine brightly and be your best self. It means honouring your needs, your dreams, and your beautiful spirit. So why is it so important, you might be wondering. Well, my queens, let me tell you. First and foremost, creating space for self-care allows us to recharge and rejuvenate. Life can be a whirlwind of responsibility, stress and expectation. But by making room for self-care, we give ourselves the invaluable gift of rest, relaxation and renewal. It's like a mini holiday for the soul where we can replenish our energy and find the inner peace that we deserve. But it does not stop there. Creating space for self-care also paves the way for better physical and mental health. When we neglect our own needs and put everything and everyone else first, we run the risk of burning out, feeling overwhelmed and experiencing the dreaded blur that comes with neglecting our own well-being. However, by making self-care a priority, we can reduce stress, we can boost our mood, increase our resilience and enhance our relationships. That is a win-win situation. Okay, so now for the bit you've been waiting for, making self-care a priority in our lives. You are so deserving of this and I'm here to help you light up your self-care journey. So here are a few tips to get you started. One way to create space for self-care is to set boundaries. Now this means being clear about what we can and cannot do saying no when we need to, and it also means carving out time in our schedules of self-care activities, such as exercise, meditation, or reading. Don't be afraid to say no when you need to. Boundaries are your superpower. They allow you to honour your needs, protect your energy. So is it time to give yourself permission to put yourself first? Next, I want you to think about scheduling it in. Just like you wouldn't miss an important meeting or a date with your bestie, schedule self-care time into your calendar. Treat it as a sacred, non-negotiable me time that you look forward to with excitement and anticipation. Another way to create space for self-care is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment, paying attention to our thoughts, our feelings without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, we can become more aware of our own needs and take action to care for ourselves. So start small. Self-care doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths, savouring a warm cup of tea, or indulging in a bubble bath. The key is to prioritise those precious moments of self-nurturing amidst the busyness of life. So identify your needs. Take a moment to reflect on what truly nurtures your mind, body and soul. Maybe it's journaling or exercising, painting or going for a nature walk. Whatever speaks to your heart, make sure you weave it into your self-care routine. And my queens, remember to celebrate your progress. Self-care is a beautiful journey and every step forward is worth celebrating. Whether you dedicated five minutes or an hour to yourself, acknowledge it and celebrate the progress you're making. You deserve that pat on the back. So let's get ready to unleash that power of self-care by creating much needed space for yourself. And remember, self-care doesn't have to be complicated or time consuming. It can be simple of like bringing that mindfulness to the tasks that you already do, like taking in a few deep breaths, going for a walk, enjoying that cup of tea. 
or even try taking off a non-essential off of your to-do list. The key is to make self-care priority, create space for it in our lives. Now, if creating space for you is something you have struggled with, my book, Starting Your Self-Care Journey, Creating Space to Nourish You, available on Amazon and linked in the show notes, may be a wonderful resource for you. Remember, you are worthy of love, care and joy and it's time to make yourself a priority. I believe in you and I am here to cheer you on every step of the way. If you're craving even more resources and support for your self journey, head over to my website, srtt.co.uk and you will find more free resources and you can connect with other like-minded individuals and bask in this joy of self-nurturing together. So thank you so much for listening. And as always, stay curious, be kind to yourself. And until next time, sparkle on.